Well, hello everybody. Today I'm going to be talking about the App Inventor 2 offline version, where to get it and how to download it and how to start it up. This version that I'm going to be talking about is, is basically a replica version of MIT App Inventor 2. Uh, however, it can be run offline without the internet connection. And uh, this version is built based on the MIT latest version on the June 4th, which includes the performance updates and fixes for the large project lagging. All right, so let's see how to uh, set it up, how to get it and how to set it up. So to get it, you need to go to this website here, to this site uh, and to the SourceForge site, and I will put down the, uh, the link under this video. Once there, you will notice that there is an AI2 offline 07 June 14 zip file. And there's a description here that tells you basically what I just talked about in the uh, from the power from the PowerPoint slide. That is basically based on the uh, June 4th, 2014 of the MIT App Inventor 2 version. All right, so you need to download this uh, zip file here. So once it is downloaded. You just uncompress it to a folder and one, you, once you uncompress it, you will notice that there is this uh, folder structure here. And uh, we are going to assume that you are using a Windows box and I will tell you what uh, you need to do to start up the, uh, uh, the app engine and also the build server. Before doing that, you have to make sure that you have the Java JDK 7 uh, installed and properly configured. By configured, that means that you have to set up your Java, uh, Java home. To do this, you click on the start, you go to this PC or my computer, go to the properties for that. Under the advanced system setting, there's an environment variable. Click on the environment variable, you should have a Java home that points to your JDK 7 folder. If it is not set up, just uh, click on the new and you will, uh, you will just add that variable there. So once that's done, uh, there you see you'll notice there's a couple of files here which is the win start uh, ai server and the associated build server the ai server is for starting up the uh, uh the app engine side which is basically for your uh the design editor and the block editor so you double click on that and it's going to start up your app inventor you'll notice that it says okay this is where uh, how you have to uh, start it up. Basically, you open up a browser and go to localhost 8888. So let's go there. All right, so once you start it up, this is going to be brought up for you and you will notice that there is, here's your designer editor. There's also one change that I had to add in here, and that's for the Yandex, uh, for the Yandex Translate that allows you to translate, uh, uh, to perform translation. I had to drop in, I had to configure it so it will allow you to take an API key. Uh, the MIT version does not actually have this because uh, there's some agreement between the MIT and the Yandex that they don't really have to uh, provide uh, an API key. There is actually built in. Here, I let you actually add the API key. And in order to get that, you have to go to the api.yandex.com and request the key. And uh, I will put this link under the video here. So this is just for the app inventory itself. Now, in order to build it, you have to also start up the build server. So uh, you click on the win start build server. That's going to start up your build server. It says the server is running. So once the server is running, you will be able just to go and back to the app inventor. You will be able to just do build and uh, save the APK to your computer. In order to use the companion app in the same folder that you unzipped, you'll notice there's the MIT AI2 companion.apk. You need to install this onto your device, either using the ADB install or you can just uh, email it to yourself and use a Gmail uh, client to open it up on your device that will install it. So this will allow you to, uh, to connect your device using the Wi-Fi companion. 